this is Evelyn, and we're going to be cutting Evelyn's hair into a new shape. She's already got short hair, but it's grown out. It's very heavy on the sides. So we're going to change the shape into a modern, edgy, short haircut. So we started with the horseshoe section on the top. You can see it goes from the recession area back to the back of the crown. And then on the sides, we put a vertical section in just behind the ear. So I'm working with my Sam V eraser, and I've taken a vertical section straight down the middle. What I'm going to do is work with that vertical section from the occipital up all the way around to the back of the ear. Combing it straight out from the head, and I'm going to cut the hair at about three, two and a half to three inches. I'm going to work my way down and keeping my fingers vertical so we cut a nice vertical line in there. Only working to the occipital for now and then taking another section. I'm just going to use that first section as my guide, slightly over directing, sliding past my guide, there it is, and working down the section. Body position is important here, that we keep our fingers on this side pointed up so that we can comb that hair right into our hand. Fingers are in position, combing out to the guide, sliding past the guide, and there it is. So now we're going to continue into the nape area. So here we were vertical like this. Now we're going to angle in slightly to follow the shape of the head, continuing with vertical sections all the way around to the back of the ear. Here's a tip when working with the razor along the hairline is rather than working with the blade this way, which is going to give us a very blunt line, we're working with just the tip of the blade as we work our way across, just this way, so that we're not cutting any hard lines and we're keeping it very, very wispy and very, very soft. As I'm working my way around here, we have some extra weight right there. So what I'm going to do is go in with a little bit of surface cutting. And that's something you can do with the razor that you can't do with the shears. And it's just skimming that surface and taking away weight. You can also do a little bit on the surface using your comb. It's an old barbering technique and a way to taper the hair down closer. And then going back to using just the tip. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. The difference is my body position. So here's a tip when working vertically through the head is that on one side we're working with our hand this way so that we can come into the hand. On this side we're going to flip and that way we have control of the hair. When we comb it out we can see the guide and we can see exactly what where we are on the head. If we try to work this way across then you're going to end up getting in your own way and it's harder to see what you're doing. Now I'm going to work through the sides with vertical sections and I'm going to use that last section behind the ear as my guide. Now I'm going to start to work around the ear and I'm just going to use the tip of the blade again to start opening up around her ear so that we keep it soft still, but it definitely isn't dragging over her ears. So when we're working with short sides and we want to keep it open around here, we're going to end up naturally with a lot of hair here. So what I've done is I've just cut a curved line around her hairline so that when this comes back in, it sits in nicely, like that, but also if we want to wear it forward, it's open around the face and it's a little bit softer. So 
So now I'm gonna take the horseshoe, now that we've got the underneath finished, and I'm gonna go in at the, the back corner of the head, so right back here, and I'm gonna work with a diagonal section that goes all the way to the front of our horseshoe on the opposite side. You can see where it's divided there. I'm gonna work with vertical sections all the way along this subsection here, and then what I'm gonna do within those sections is I'm gonna work short to long one way, and then short to long the other way, short to long this way, this way, this way, so we're getting a variation of length and texture in there. So I'm gonna cut from about an inch, and I'm gonna start working my way towards the back of the section, angling up towards a longer length. And this is a very bold thing to do um, by cutting these blunt lines into the top of the hair, which are also gonna fall into the front of the hair, and you can see there where we're starting to get a short little bit happen. So I've left the first section out. My second section now is gonna be separate. I do not connect them together. If we do, we're not gonna get that sort of variation of texture in there, which is what we're going for. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna take that section, comb it straight up, and this time, we're gonna go from a short length in the crown up to a longer length in the front. And from her previous haircut, she's got a little bit of layering there in the front, so don't worry about that, I'm just gonna let it fall away. Next section, I'm gonna comb this down and out of my way, and then I'm gonna work this way again. And depending on how soft a result you want or how strong, is gonna be determined by the size of the section. The bigger the section, the bolder the texture. The smaller the section, the softer the texture. And you're the one, you're the expert, you know where you need to go with each person, so you just vary your sections based on that. Now she happens to have a lot of hair towards the front hairline, a lot of people don't, so you definitely wanna make sure that you adjust which angle you're gonna do around the hairline to make sure you have enough hair. So let's drop that down and look at it. And you can see how we get a real texture going on in there so that when we go to dry it, it's gonna soften, but we're still gonna have a lot of short and long pieces living together. So now I'm gonna work through the other side of the horseshoe. And what we're gonna do first is take a section along the back of the horseshoe. Just here. So just here on the edge of the horseshoe. And what we're gonna do is bring that down and we're gonna drop it over so that it sits about a half an inch to an inch below the occipital. So I'm just gonna clean a little bit of that off because of her previous haircut and just make sure that we get some of this hair here too. Good. And it does not connect with this hair underneath, it just lays over. So what I'm gonna do now is use that as my guide and I'm gonna continue working my sections vertical, 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 vertical. So if we look from the top, we're gonna go here, 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 here. And so what we're gonna do now is use that section that we took here as our guide and we're gonna work that up to the top and then we're gonna work from that length down to a shorter length. So we're gonna leave that section alone. I'm just gonna continue now. The next section, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna work with a vertical section. And this time, we're going to keep that back length, but we're gonna work straight across. So this time it's it's longer on this, on this section than the previous, keeping our length inside. And then the next section, we're going to do the same thing we did on the first section where we're gonna leave the length here and work back this way. So the whole back area is the longest point. So I'm gonna use two products in her hair when I blow dry it. One is the Shaping Control Gel from Pureology, and then we have Lightweight Smoothing Lotion. So we're gonna get some hold, but it's gonna have slip at the same time. 
I'm gonna blow dry now using a Denman brush with a technique where I'm wrapping the hair back and forth across her head to smooth it out. So here's the blow dried shape. You can see where we've got that length that spills over the underneath and that's just as a filler for the shape. And then we've just got a lot of texture happening back and forth through here. So what I'm going to do is go and cut a little bit more out of her hair because she has so much weight and density. So you can see how we've got some pretty blunt ends there and we want to keep those. We just want to create more movement and release some of that weight inside the section. So what I'm doing here with some of those long bits that fall over is I'm just using my blades to just feather that length so that it starts to come in around here and not drop over the ear. So I'm just going to continue taking weight out of these sections through the top. So in this top area where it's still very dense, I'm going in and to work with that strong, bold texture that we have, I'm going to go in with the tips of my shears and just notch out some of that hair so that what's left still has the same length and everything else that we just did, but it has more space between the pieces so we see those a little bit more. I'm going to mix two Pureology styling products together, Density Definer and Cuticle Polisher. One has hold, one has shine, that way we can add more texture to her hair. So here's Evelyn with her finished look. You can see the shape from the side where it tucks in nice and close. We've got our length that spills over in the back but we still have our short texture in the top and the crown by working back and forth with our lengths and it's got a nice soft movement to it.